everyone it's Charlie. welcome back to my kitchen and today we've got all the makings for some great crab cakes i found this recipe on um, the preppy kitchen and so we're going to follow it i do have some notes here the only thing that i did leave out was hot sauce because there's a lot of flavor going on in this recipe so i want to try them without the hot sauce so let's get started. You're going to start with a half a cup of mayo. I don't know about you, but we love crab cakes over here. <clears throat> and then we've got fresh parsley, two tablespoons. I've got a teaspoon of lemon juice going into the bowl, and a teaspoon of lemon zest. We've also got some Worcestershire sauce, just a teaspoon and a half of that. A tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Believe it or not, we're almost finished. We've got one egg. And a little salt and pepper. So let's start with a fourth a teaspoon of salt. And I'm just going to do a crack or two of pepper. I set it to a really fine um, crack so that it wouldn't be too overpowering. And now we just whisk this together. Okay, we have a half a cup of panko and a pound of crab meat. So I'm gonna grab a spoon. And I'm just gonna start with half a pound, eight ounces of crab meat, so that I can blend it together. And I'll do about half of the panko. And you really don't want to overwork this. So I'm actually gonna grab a wooden spoon, I think. I'm just break up the crab meat a little bit. <clears throat> Mix it. It's looking great. So go ahead and put the rest of the crab in and the panko. As you can see, this is mixing up beautifully and I'm just about done with that. I used crab claw meat because we like it. It's a little bit sweeter, but you can use a combination of lump crab and crab claw or just lump and it will be fine in these crab cakes. The other thing, if you want a little bit of a bite, you can add some red onion to this. Um, and of course, if you want them spicy, by all means, add some hot sauce. But this is looking great. I'm, I'm going to get the additional flavor for these crab cakes in the sauce. So you can either make a rumelade or an aioli, and I'm actually gonna make an aioli to go with these. So what you wanna do, I'm gonna actually use this scoop. And you want about half a cup, so I'll add a little bit more to it. And this is gonna form your crab cake. 
So you are going to have to get in there a little bit with your hands. Let me take my ring off. Sorry, guys. And so I'm going to take that half a cup, just kind of form the crab cake. And we should get about six of these. And we're going to chill them. You need to chill them for at least um, 20 minutes, but you can actually go up to like six hours. So we're gonna go the 20, 30 minute route and then cook these up on our stove top. So again, looking beautiful. The chilling of them is going to help them stay together when you're actually browning them. And there's really, if you think about it, this is already, there's nothing in this that's not cooked as far as the crab meat goes because this was from some boiled or steamed crab. So here you go. I've got six beautiful crab cakes. I'm going to put them in the refrigerator. I put them on a um, lined baking sheet, put them in the fridge for at least 20 minutes, and then you can join me at the stovetop, and we're gonna brown these up and enjoy them for lunch. So I've taken the crab cakes out of the fridge. They're nice and chilled, and I'm warming up a healthy tablespoon of avocado oil in my um, skillet. And I would use a nonstick for this. I always suggest you do. And we're going to cook these in batches. So I'm going to do three at a time. Nice and sizzling. That's what I wanted. And they need to cook for about three minutes on each side. So meanwhile, we're gonna put together the aioli sauce. Kind of in the background, but um, you can pan out Mr. Cameraman so that we can show that a bit. Aioli starts with one egg yolk. A fourth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to add some garlic. You can use fresh or minced. I'm going to start with a teaspoon. And I'm going to start whisking that around. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of lemon juice as well. So that's the basis of the aioli. And then you can see I have a half a cup of olive oil. So while these crab cakes are cooking, I'm gonna whisk this for a little while. And then I'm gonna gradually add in the olive oil. So I'm just do a little bit at a time. and whisk. Those crab cakes are smelling good. <clears throat> and I wanted to show you something that I um, saw on Chef Jean Pierre's in his kitchen. He's got a whole slew of tasting spoons because I'm a firm believer in tasting as you go. So I had all of these it's just kind of a mixture of teaspoons. So I'm keeping that next to my stove top so that I can taste and then grab a new one. I just thought that was a really good trick. 
you can see the aioli is really starting to emulsify. I'm going to go wipe off the spatula before I turn those crab cakes. It's probably about time. All right, so now we're going to flip the crab cakes. It's a nice, beautiful golden color that I wanted. Now we'll let those cook for another three minutes at least. <clears throat> and then we'll do our next set. I'm going to continue working on the aioli. Now those crab cakes are beautiful. And you can make them as an appetizer or as your main protein. That's what we're doing tonight. We're going to serve them with a side of asparagus. You can also do a salad with them, potatoes, whatever you like. And this sauce is almost finished. And you just have to keep whisking so that it's mixed up well. It's kind of like when you make a salad dressing and it's an oil based, olive oil based. And use the best possible olive oil that you can for this sort of thing. Best egg that you've got. Because the ingredients do matter. And whisk again. <clears throat> and I'm gonna taste this, because I had an idea of adding some chives to it, just to see. So I'm gonna go in here and grab a little spoon. I think I might add chives. I'll let you know. And that's pretty good the way it is. All right, the first batch is done. Plate those. And we'll put the next batch in. I did add um, chives to the aioli. You can see, looks looks great, tastes great. And so now let's do our second round of crab cakes. Here are your finished crab cakes. They are beautiful. And I've paired them with some asparagus with a pistachio basil pesto. I'll teach you how to make that if you're interested. And of course, a little bit of a baguette. We've got our aioli sauce on the side. So here you go, very easy to make. Um, no stress at all. They cooked beautifully, stayed together. I love chilling them. I think that was a great tip. So thank y'all so much for cooking with me. Um, give me the thumbs up. Comments below are really appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And let's keep cooking together.